Hey guys, uh, in the last video we created a bucket called student. So in this video we are going to learn how to build application using Couchbase in detail. So what do we need to build the application and what are the ingredients um, for building a application with Spring along with Couchbase, right? So first open uh, our favorite um, Spring initializer. Uh, then uh, we can type here Spring Couchbase and we need two things. One is Wave because we are going to build some REST endpoints and another is Couchbase model. Right? So now uh, let me talk about uh, Spring Data Couchbase, um, its advantages and um, uh, its capabilities. So um, you can um, Instead of uh, Spring Data Couchbase, even you can use Couchbase Client along with Couchbase SDK to build your application. But I would recommend you to uh, use Spring Data Couchbase if you are developing your application using Spring, right? So Spring Data Couchbase has uh, Couchbase native support. And once you include this dependency, it automatically gets a compatible versions of the native Couchbase SDK into the class file. Uh, so you don't need to include the SDK explicitly. So I'll show you shortly how the SDK gets included uh, as part of the Spring Data Couchbase once we import the project. So let me tell you um, how Spring Data Couchbase works. So you can use uh, either Spring Data Repository or Couchbase template. Um, then Spring Data Couchbase provides the same built-in uh, queries and the derived query mechanisms as um, other Spring Data modules such as um, JPA provides. Um, so basically, as a developer, uh, you can just write your uh, repository interfaces, including uh, custom finder methods, uh, and Spring Data Couchbase will provide the implementation for you. So you don't need to write the lines of boilerplate code for your data access layer. Right? So we're going to see the implementation uh, using data repository. Um, so Spring Data Couchbase has N1QL support, as it is compatible with uh, SDK, as we uh, discussed. Uh, and one additional note to remember, if you're using Couchbase Server 4.0 or later, uh, like for Couchbase Server 5.0 or something which is um, greater than 4.0 version, then by default custom queries are processed using the N1QL engine, so which is part of uh, your um, SDK, right? So I'm just going to talk about Spring Data Couchbase as part of this video. Maybe in the next uh, video, we'll deep dive into the code and uh, build the endpoints and uh, do the integration part. So um, uh, so we'll, I will define a repository interface for our implementation by extending the CRUD repository and we'll add some custom methods uh, which should be executed by N1QL engine. So and, and to add the, to support for the N1QL, uh, we have to create a primary indexer index on the bucket. Um, that's how it works. So um, yeah, so uh, that's all about the Spring Data Couchbase theory part. So in the next video, we are going to build the endpoints and uh, see the integration part. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next video.